What up, family? Cost you nothing to hit that like button, fam. Crazy Bone. Bone Thugs and Harmony. It. Now, if you don't know, fam, in Cleveland, where they from, you know, they just did a special thing for Bone Thugs, and they named, you know, a roadway after them, Bone Thugs and Harmony Way, right? The city was um, happy about that. They was in support of Bone, fam. A lot of people feel like that they didn't get their due diligence throughout hip-hop dealing with Easy e because when things went left with Easy e him dying, things kind of went left with Bone Thugs. Now, this situation, fam, hit home, you know, because I know Crazy Bone personally. You know, when I was at 101.1 and we spun a whole day together and he was an original cat, fam. He had no image for nothing. You know, all his words was pure. I got to say that. And I always have respected that about him, fam. Now, before we get into details on this situation, I want you to understand when it comes to a life, fam, battles, whether it's a sickness, it can be jail battles, mental battles, whatever the case might be. Ain't nobody exempt from that program. And when you see other people going through things like a crazy bone, it's a warning for you to take a look at your life and start to forgive others and take things serious, fam, because you're going to need that at the end of the day. And that's what the world is missing. Now, Crazy Bone found reports is saying he's fighting for his life. You know, at, at a Los Angeles hospital. He's been fighting this disease that I got in the title. I don't want to pronounce it wrong, but it's in the title. And it's a serious disease, fam, that can cause heart problems. You know, your, your lymph nodes start to blow up and grow, increase, different things like that. And reports is saying that Crazy Bone was throwing up blood, you know, before he went to the hospital and in critical um, condition, like, right? Now, a lot of fans is pouring out, fam, because Bone Thugs is just now, when they come to hip-hop, when they did the verses with 3-6, you know, they start to get booked more after then, you know, which they've been getting booked, but people that start to give them their respect, you know, as far as being in the hip hop game and one of the coldest groups to ever come through and do it. Me, myself, fam, I hate to see this situation. I pray for Crazy Bone. You know, I pray for his family, fam. And at the same time, I'm praying, I'm thankful, fam, that this day here, and you should be thankful, fam, for your health. I don't care what you may be going through, financial problem, mental health problem, whatever the case, it's always somebody doing worse than you. And a lot of times, fam, you know, God comes short on our answers with prayers or he come late with it, fam, because we be in a selfish program with prayers. We don't put ourselves in other people's shoes like crazy bone until a situation happens. You know, for me to be a hip hop head coming up in the game, we coming up, you know, we 50 years in um, hip hop, which I'm not that old of a head, but I grew up on Bone Thugs and Harmony and groups like um, 3-6 Mafia. And to see situations like this with artists that you grew up on, it hit home. Not only that, fam, like I say, when he was in Look Rock, you know, we spent the whole day and he was an original dude. I want y'all to understand, family, not even going to say subscribers, that what's going on in life around you, you is a part of it. Whether it's sickness, whether it's wrecks, like I say, jail, everything that's going on, fam, it affect you also. So meaning, don't wait until you get in a situation like this and start to pray to the most high and ask for blessings start to get unselfish then when situations is critical. At the end of the day, I'm seeing a lot of y'all on social media, 
you know, you, you make different posts, you say different things, like you exempt, fam, from the program of karma. It's real. And what karma is, God allowed the devil to test you through different waters, the same way he did Daniel, you know, with the lines then. But at the end of the day, you will be all right through faith. But a lot of y'all is losing it, fam. You know, you're trying to lean on your own understanding when it comes to sickness of, of your parents or of your loved ones or your kids, fam, uh, misbehaving, life, period. You got to bounce back. Every knee must bow. And I keep saying this. I don't know why. In my last few videos, you know, every knee must bow. And it's hitting home, fam, with this with Crazy Bone. I seen some of his members speak out about Crazy Bone. And they speaking out, uh, some of the Bone Thugs members. And they speaking out, fam, in a way to where it's sad to know that this situation is serious. Crazy Bone was so proud, fam, and happy that the city of Cleveland, you know, they did that for him with the um the roadway, naming it after them. And that was big up because they put a lot into the game to get where they at today. And it's sad to see, fam, people that's original. If you notice, you know, like like, like a Martin Luther King, I'm going to use for an example. He was an original. He was himself one of a kind type dude. And it seemed that a lot of individuals that's like that, are like a crazy bone fam, have to get used as an example in the world to set the tone for other people. You know, the people that I'm seeing on my social media, when it comes to deaths and different things and sickness saying, Hey man, this guy would have helped anybody. or He would have uh, done this for any, I hate to see him in this situation. And at the end of the day, it's a sign, fam. It's a signal. It's a warning. And you got to listen to me that ain't nobody exempt. Not none of you rap stars with the money that you got, fam. Not none of you billionaires. Nobody in the world. In situations like this, just go to show, fam, that when it comes to sickness, take your health real, fam. When it comes to family, take it real. Forgive, fam, whether it's you got a family member, sisters and brothers, whatever y'all done been through, because we just are passing through. A hundred years from now, will none of us be here in this predicament? Maybe a few, and them two-year-old babies or something. But make sure you hit that like button, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.